president of Penn Financial Group, author of The Next Great Bull Market, you know, the one that's coming, a business expert, <laughs> Matt McCall, via printing or any type of quantitative easy. So, do you own U.S. government bonds, which I do not, you may want to think about selling this. It's a very difficult market out there. Right? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, Matt McCall, Penn Financial Group, nice to see you. Well, what, is this, what is this administration pushing? Green, green, green. You're pushing Solyndra. You look at any solar stock out there, they've been getting crushed the last couple of years. People don't want solar on the roofs right now. It's not feasible. No, That's the problem. We may have to because if not, we let our economy fall by the wayside because of their actions. So Tea Party, party behind him is a Tea Party vote, which makes him, he could beat Obama. I mean, he could because of their vote. No, us. Or if we say, you know what, let's take our medicine. We'll get through this in a couple of years. That's going to be a rough couple of years. Wow. Matt, thank you. Thank you. Matt McCall, everybody. Well, we know it's greater. war. It's war. And what Moore said later in the interview said, we're not at war. Well, the, what, if this isn't war, then what is war is what I'd like to ask him. And then he went on to say, well, it will hunt you down. Isn't that part of war, hunting down our enemies and basically protecting our country, the freedom the that we have? 1.71% on a 10-year treasury. Who in their right mind would loan the U.S. government money for 10 years at 1.7% per year? Well, you look at HP, over the, since 1999, seven different CEOs. You can't find that much turnover in any big Fortune 500 company. So I think right now they're reeling so bad that they have to kind of go to that old veteran quarterback on the sideline. They know has done well in the past. And even if that gets them going for the next 10 to 12 months, that's enough to, to get them get them in the right direction because right now they have nothing going for them. And I can't believe Meg Whitman actually took this job. But as of 2007, there have been 25 lawmakers that have been charged with serious crime. All 25 are still receiving their pension. So, I mean, and you think about this, the laws are written by the politicians for politicians. That'd be like a jailhouse where all the inmates write the laws of what goes on in the jailhouse.